Well, can you believe how long it took them to solve that puzzle? No, Wheel of Fortune is not an easy game to play. Oh, please, as soon as they called the letters R and H, I knew the Indian tribe with the Arapaho. You never heard of the Arapaho in your life. How would you like a Arapaho in your mouth? <laughs> No, like Pat Sajak says on the show, it's a lot easier playing a game in your living room in Glenlawn than being a contestant in a big studio in Burbank. Oh, please, you heard the man say that I was one of the best contestants that ever tested for that show. And as soon as they call me and tell me I'm going to be on the show, I'll show that to you. Well, there's a big difference when you're playing for real money under pressure. <laughs> under pressure? Oh, please, Miss Thane, that's when I'm at my best, under pressure. Honey, I never get rattled under pressure. <laughs> Why don't you win? <laughs> <laughs> Pull yourself together, they'll call. Just try to stay calm. Oh, you're gonna pretend that you aren't nervous, huh? I'm not nervous. Well, why are you shaking? I'm not shaking. You're shaking now! <laughs> That's them, girl. That's them. We'll pick up the phone. I can't. My hands are shaking. <laughs> Hello? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Samantha isn't here. Give me that phone. Me... Samantha ran away from home. Call back in two years. <laughs> well, that's a terrible thing to do. Girl, I ain't got time to be taking no messages. I got to leave this line open for Burbank. Any news yet? Not yet. What are you doing? <laughs> Calling Simpson at the station. Well, use the radio in your car. Don't argue with her, Chief. She's in a state. I don't know why. It's just a game show. Ha! Just a game show? For your information, Will of Fortune is THE game show. You see, Chief, one of the prizes is a trip to New York, and Nell has her heart set on winning it. Why don't you ring those? Just sit there. Nell, you don't want any part of New York. Two years ago, I went to a police chief's convention there. The chief I was sharing a room with went out for a newspaper and never came back. If I was sharing a room with you, I wouldn't come back either. I'm not kidding, Nell. New York is a dangerous city. That's him. Hello? No, Katie's living with a man in Mexico. Are you crazy? Look, I don't have time. I told you I gotta leave this line open. Ain't nobody here! <laughs> Nell, is something wrong? Nell? Nell! <laughs> that was Wheel of Fortune. Oh, <laughs> Operator, please get me NBC. Get me Burbank. Give me a break. Now I know what it takes. I'm putting a new face on the old one. Ready for anything. Playing with fate. Not a moment too late. Showing the whole world. in the Temptations. There are two T's. Yes, yes. That's $2,000. Yes, yes. That brings your grand total to $3,600. Yes, yes. Now, we're going to find out if Nell is going to solve this quotation or spin the wheel for more money on this special Friends Day edition of Wheel of Fortune. Yes, yes. Uh, but we, we have a word from our sponsor now, so turn your back so you can't study the puzzle board while we're gone. Turn, turn. <laughs> and we'll be right back. I know the answer. I'm going to solve it. I'm going that trip to New York City. Oh, it'll be a dream come true. Well, if you know the answer, solve it. I am. You know what? The only reason I came with this show was so I could win that trip to New York City. It looks like I'm actually going to do it. You know, if you uh, let me win this trip to New York, 
I will never ask for another thing. I promise you. Well, you're doing just great. You're just $4,000 away from that car. And the car. <laughs> Settle for the trip. Let me see if I win the car. I can drive to New York. Mel, you're gonna blow it all. I want you to stay out of this. What I win, I win. What you win, you win, all right? Well, if you lose, don't come crying to me. <laughs> Okay, you can turn around, please. And welcome back. Well, what's it going to be, Nell? Are you going to solve the quotation, or are you going to spin for more money? I'm going to spin, spin, honey. I'm going to spin for some big bucks. Yeah. Whoa! I'm going to a front wheel drive. Go ahead. And it's $2,000. All right, Nell, get the letter. Is there a G, as in Gladys Knight and the Pips? There are two Gs. That's four thousand dollars, your grand total. Seven thousand six hundred dollars. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna stop it. I know the answer. The answer is give me liberty or give me a car. Uh, no, no, Nell. I'm I'm sorry. That's not right. But I just solved it. No, you have to give us the exact quote, and, and that's not it. No, I just said, give me liberty or give me... Oh. Don't, don't give it away. We have to go to your best friend, Addie. It's your turn. <laughs> you are not my best friend. It's $900. Oh, there you go. Now you're good in that dress. OK, Addie, pick a letter. Is there a V, as in Vernal Equinox, and the pips. <laughs> Here they come, two V's, $1,800. We add that to your $600, you have $2,400. What do you want to do, Addie? I want that trip to New York. I'm going to solve it. The answer is give me liberty or give me death. We did That's it. it. Congratulations. Yeah. Addie Murphy. We won the trip to New York. We did it. We did it. <laughs> what do you mean, we? <laughs> I am truly sorry. We made a deal. It's my trip. You were the one who said, what you win is yours, and what I win is mine. <laughs> that was before I lost and you won. <laughs> well, a deal's a deal, miss. Give me liberty or give me a car. <laughs> Listen, miss. The last thing I want to do is to be stuck in New York City with you, Addie Wilson. All right, here it is. Nell's going to New York with Eddie. I don't know where they got a crazy idea like that from. Well, you, you phoned from Los Angeles, said Eddie was going to take you to New York. Yeah. You did. You can have a seat by the window on the plane. <laughs> I was going to take you anyway, you fool. Oh, Eddie, thank you. Look. Oh, this will be the trip of our lives. New York City. Oh, the Empire State Building, Park Avenue, oh, Broadway. Girl, you know, there was once a time in my life and all I wanted to do was just to sing on Broadway. Well, <sighs> we bought you a little going away present. Oh, oh a carry-on be perfect for my extra shoes. Just what you asked us to get you on your phone. <laughs> Uh, we were gonna have it monogrammed, but we didn't have time. Besides, it was an extra $4.50. <gasps> oh, Eddie, look. My whole family's so thrilled about us going to New York. Well, you go to New York, you die. <laughs> Even the chief is thrilled. What are you talking about, chief? Crime. Something I've devoted my life to. New York is not a safe place for a woman. Especially if she's attractive. Thank you. Uh, Carl, stop trying to scare him, huh? I want him to face reality. The last thing I want to do is scare them. Huh. I just want to prepare them for the likelihood that they could be mugged, assaulted, or terrorized by a homicidal maniac. Uh, Carl, huh? give you a piece of advice. What? Shut up. <laughs> Stories about New York are just that. They're just stories. Yeah, those stories are exaggerated. I heard that everyone in New York has been shot at least once. <laughs> well, it's not that bad, but it's in the ballpark. As soon as I found out that you were going, I got these statistics about New York from the police wire. I mean, I could show you things here that 
You know what the chief is trying to do, Addy? He's trying to frighten us into not going to New York. Honey, you want to buy a nice little carry-on? Come on, now. We may never get another chance to go to New York. You're right, chief. Dangerous or not, Addy and I are going to New York City. Okay, I just wanted to put you on your guard. But if you're determined to do this, do one thing, will you? Use the buddy system. Never get separated. Always stay together, day or night, if you don't want to be found lying in the gutter with your head bashed in. And have a nice trip. <laughs> This way. <laughs> that way. Okay. <gasps> There's a baggage. Oh, okay. <laughs> Addy, Smith has stolen my bag. He only been in New York two minutes, and all of this, I'm gonna swipe my back. I see who did it. It's that <gasps> crook over there. Look, he's not gonna get away with this. I'll call a cop. No, let's don't call no cops. Ain't no cops around here. You remember the chief said that he used to buddy sister. Now, look, uh, this is the plan. You distract him while I grab the bag, okay? That's the plan? That's the plan. I don't like the plan. Come on, just do what I tell you. I'll tell you what to do. Just come and do it, okay? Oh, right. Is there anything else I can do for you, ladies? Here you go. <laughs> That's 50 cents. Right. Uh, <clears throat> here's a dollar. 
I think there's a $2 minimum in this town. Enjoy your stay in New York. Well, we made it to the room. Hey, we're in New York City. We're actually in New York. <laughs> Why don't you see what kind of view we got? Okay. <laughs> All window washers are peeping toms. <laughs> Come on, Nell, see what our view is like. They said we could see the Empire State Building from here. Yeah? Oh, Nell, the soap smells wonderful. <laughs> down here on the floor. I don't know. It was your idea. I mean, New York City is out there. You're right, honey. Let's go. <laughs> Let's just start spreading the news. The West Coast kids have arrived. Hit. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I ain't scared. Oh, hey, girl, come on. Don't worry about the news. Well, wait, a minute. wait a minute. Wait. Listen. Warning. We advise guests for their security that they keep their door locked double locked, and chained at all times. Well, now that we got it locked, how do we get out of here?
see everything. No. Hey, where do you want to go next? Oh, I don't know. Maybe we should ask somebody. Hey. Oh, excuse me, sir. Yes, ladies. Are you an out-of-towner? No, I live here. Well, <laughs> we are out-of-towners, and well, what should we go and see while we're here in New York? Well, ladies, you're now in the Big Apple. Now, if you like to walk, as I do, the best place to walk is along Fifth Avenue. You'd walk up to uh, Central Park. Mm -hmm. You'd uh, stop at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Maybe stroll over to the Guggenheim. Walk through the uh, Central Park Zoo. And you ought to know this is the greatest, most thrilling city in the whole world. Uptown and downtown, east side, west side, all around the town. And at the end of the trip, don't forget to have a hot pastrami on rye. Mm. You know, the way you talk about New York, you sound like the mayor. <laughs> Some people even say I look like him. Are you mayor, God? See what I mean? Wait, I'll walk with you. How am I doing? No. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, excuse me, miss. Was that really the mayor of New York? Oh, well, yes, but no, I don't want to get involved. <laughs> hot pastrami, let's go, Love girl. It. <laughs> Okay, now, where do you want to go today? I don't know. What do you want to do? Well, I know this sounds corny, but I've always wanted to see General Grant's tomb. Well, that doesn't sound corny. I'd love to see Grant's tomb. You think we could get a hot pastrami sandwich there? Addie, we're in New York City. We could probably get a hot pastrami sandwich in St. Patrick's Cathedral. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you writing to? My mama. I'm telling her that I finally sang on Broadway, and I'm sending her that quarter that you gave me. <laughs> That's sweet. No, it ain't. When I left home, she said, with a voice like yours, you'll never make a dime. Well. <laughs> Come on, Nell. We don't want to keep General Grant waiting. You know how those Yankees are. OK, darling. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. After yesterday, don't you think we ought to take an umbrella? Oh, yeah, I got it in my case. Okay. Say, after General Grant's tomb, do you think we could go to Greenwich Village and see some live people? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I got the umbrella here with my uh, extra shoes. It. <laughs> Addie, why would the chief pack a gun in here with my box of shorts? <laughs> a gun? Yeah. Right next to that big cellophane bag with all that white powder in it. A gun? Yeah. White powder? <laughs> now, I don't think this is your bag. No, I mean, that's the bag I took from the man at the airport. Now, I think that man is a drug dealer. <gasps> oh, Eddie, he could kill us for this. Well, thank heavens he doesn't know what hotel we're in. You really think so? Hey, it's a big city. He'll never find us. Yeah, you're right. I'll get that. Hello, Nell Hopper speaking. Hello? Hello? Hey, Addie. You know that man that you said would never find out which hotel we're in? I think he knows which hotel we're in. 